everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Sagan and today's video I'm super excited to share because I did a manicure at home by myself using press on nails if you guys have been following me for a while especially on my Instagram page I get really excited when I get my nails done and when I go to the nail salon get a fresh manicure get a fresh pedicure and I know that you guys really love my excitement for you know doing some sort of self-care treatment and things like that but because of what's going on that's not really an option right now so I needed a little pick-me-up I got these press-on nails from Walmart and it's by the kiss brand I use their lashes I've never used um, their nail products but I thought that these were absolutely perfect they're also super affordable I think they were about ten dollars and it wasn't that hard to assemble like I get really nervous when things are kind of semi-permanent like as far as like gluing things down so I really want to share this self-care treatment with you guys because I think anybody can do it it's not something that's you have to be super talented at doing um, but I shared a couple tips on how to have a clean kind of cuticle to have that fresh manicure look so if you're interested in how I did my nails at home continue watching but first, if you aren't subscribed to my channel just yet, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a big thumbs up for me and let's get started. So to get started, I thoroughly washed my hands. So I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but when I'm at a nail salon, they always put cream on my hands when they're ready to kind of like soften up my skin and get rid of all the cuticles. And then I took the scraper out of that nail kit that you saw there and I'm just scraping off any excess glue that I may have had because I did do a press-on kind of test run earlier that week, but they were too long. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the nail set that I had and they were really, really long. It was a bit difficult to get any editing done. These nails are perfect because I can type, I could edit, I could text <laughs> freely. So at this point, I'm just really trying to mock what they do at a nail salon. It was actually kind of nice to do your nails at home because you're less distracted. I think I was listening to a podcast or I had something on, on Netflix and I was just kind of like enjoying a sunny day at home. So if you guys were bored and feel like, you know, there's not really much to do, the next time you have to do some errands or if you can find press on nails on Amazon, which I found a bit challenging, then do your nails at home. Also, I just want to mention that the nail clipper set that you see here is from the dollar store. So if you are from Toronto, the infamous Dollarama is at every corner, I feel. So, so I believe this kit was about $2 or maybe $3. But what I really like about this kit is the cuticle clipper. I find that the cuticle clipper that they have at the actual nail salon, like the professional looking one, is just way too difficult for me to use one-handed. So I really liked how it mocks a clipper and I can get into the cuticles very neatly and I'm not ripping any other skin around the nail. So once I clean off my nails, get rid of all the dead skin, the cuticles, they're ready for cutting. So the nail set that I'm using is short, so I have to cut my real nail so that it doesn't peek through. To make sure that there aren't any excess oils or cream left on the nail, use nail polish remover before applying the press-on. So one tip that I want to leave with you guys is file your nail just a little bit so that the press-on nail has a little bit more grip to stick on. So I measured out these nails already, but keep in mind there are tiny numbers on the inside of each nail, so it'll be easier for you to match them up. So for instance, my pinky on the inside had a number three on it. So I knew that if I measured out number three as my pinky size, I would just need to grab the other number three in the set and I was good. So it doesn't take very long to measure out the size of your fingernail. So I add a little glue on the center of my nail and then I put a little bit on the press on and then I press it down for about 15 to 20 seconds to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles. You don't want to add too much glue because it will overspill and glue, nail glue contacting your skin is the worst feeling. Like it's terrible. Like I've had 
an accident a few days before uh, recording this video and it was terrible. You'll notice that a little later on I use paper towel to press on my right side because I could not, I did not want to have any contact with the nail glue and my skin. I was actually really shocked by the results. Like before quarantine, I was kind of intrigued by, you know, starting to do press on nails because as you guys know on my Instagram, I love getting my nails done, but it's just sitting in like the nail salon waiting and waiting and waiting even after I set up an appointment, getting my nails done and then it eating away like my day is just sometimes a bit of an inconvenience, but I don't know, I'm just having a hard time finding options for styles that I like. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. But I thought that this set was really, really cute. It's matte, it's soft pink, it's just perfect. They honestly, I was at awe because I didn't think it would turn out this nice. But it's been, currently right now, it's been, I want to say I recorded this on... Thursday or maybe Wednesday and today's Monday and nothing has happened as far as it coming off a little bit or anything like nothing has happened and they're still nice and clean it just gives me a clean fresher look when I'm recording and it just makes me feel good being at home all day if you are like me and you love getting your nails done but you can't right now trust me do a little self-care day put on a face mask put on some press-on nails and i don't know i just feel refreshed i know that sounds so corny but like it's just the truth like i don't know when i was recording this i was just like it almost felt like i wasn't recording like the camera was behind me but it just felt so nice i personally love the oval shape or the almond shape but again i couldn't find i couldn't find it so i had to stick with the square shape but i could file them down if i really wanted to but i decided to just leave it as is it is so difficult to do my right side it is incredibly difficult to do my right hand oh my god guys please give me some suggestions on shows to watch on netflix you guys already know I'm a huge fan of The Office and New Girl just came out and so did Modern Family. But if you guys have any <laughs> shows to suggest um, on Netflix or movies, let me know. So that's the final look, guys. Look at how clean my nails look. So there's a bit of a tab on each nail. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just kind of not nice so what I did was to get like a cleaner look I just filed that little tab down and it just made such a difference because it just looked too plasticky if that makes sense at the top if you guys put on press on nails you guys will understand what I mean but when you buy your first pack you'll you'll notice trust me it's just ugh. <laughs> guys I can't I cannot tell you how obsessed I was like I was just like wait that's it like I did this at home by myself like that's a wrap oh my god all right guys so that wraps up today's video I'm in love with these nails I love the color the soft pink like I'm absolutely obsessed with lately I'll link all the products that I use in the description box below but keep in mind most of the products I use are from the dollar store so the nail clippers, the nail polish remover, cotton balls, and things like that you can find at the dollar store. And like I mentioned, the actual nail kit or the nail set was from Walmart. So be sure to check that out as well. I was a little bit underwhelmed by the options, to be quite honest with you. I was kind of going for more of an oval shape, but they only had these square shapes. So if you guys have any suggestions on what press-on nails I should try out, let me know in the description box below. I'd love to uh, have a little bit more options for doing my nails at home. If you guys are interested in seeing how I do my toes, like a pedicure, <laughs> uh, let me know as well, because I did it a couple weeks ago for my birthday. And surprisingly enough, with just using tools, I found at the dollar store my feet turned out really really nice so let me know if you guys want to see that video again if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe if you guys like 
self-care treatment videos like this give this video a big thumbs up it lets me know to do more videos like this and i just want to thank everybody that has been subscribing to my channel that has been joining me on instagram live and things like that so big shout out to you guys and with that being said guys i will see you in my next video bye